Hello child tellers, welcome to our F major arpeggio practice session. Frida is playing this synth in the background for us um, instead of a drone. But also when I finish telling you the names of the notes and just how to get through it, uh, I'll leave the tape on and then you can just improvise or practice up and down the arpeggio, mix it up a bit, do it backwards and forwards and you can start improvising. But don't worry, I'm going to leave the tape on. So. Um, I'll leave Frida and Daphne, Daphne on drums in a minute. Um, so let's let's just have a look at the, the note names. So we start with the root note, which is an F, and then the major third, which is an A, and the fifth, which is the C. Now, this is a wonderful thing about a video, is you only need three notes. And then, of course, we go back to the root note, but we're going up, okay? Up, so it's an octave, but the note is an F again, and then down to the A. And I'm using in this example, I'm using the uh, ABRSM book uh, grade six. Um, and so we're going coming down to fourth position, but set, uh, it's exactly the same note. So we've done F, A, C, F, C, A, F, C, A, F. Okay. Now I recommend you do, I mean, for the uh, the exam, if you're doing the examination, you'll need to do either backwards and forwards, um, every triplet starts uh, uh, alternating on a down or an up bow, or a slur, okay? Um, but for our purposes today, where we're just learning the basics and understanding things, I'm going to suggest that you do whatever you like. Absolutely, whatever you like. We're, this is all about making these things fun and interesting, isn't it? And then when after you've learnt the, mastered the notes, these notes, I'll tell you the um, fingering presently. After you've done that, um, just you, you just do them back to front, upside down, play around, improvise a bit, do your thing. Um, it's it's really exciting actually. It's really nice. So fourth finger on the F. First finger on the A, this is in first position. Fourth finger uh, for that C. Um, I should say we're uh, on the G string now. And then um, two fingers on that for the F note, which is on the D string. Uh, it was a bit fast. Four, one, four, two. Come down. One, four, two, four. One and w look when you're when you come down to that one on that A, keep it there, keep it there, don't move it. And when you put the fourth down, still be having that first finger on that A. Go to the F and keep your keep your fingers in that position. If, because then you're going to be well positioned for the return journey. Obviously, you've got to come back up again here. Uh, your fingers can't stay there while you're going in fourth position. It's a different position. Um, but look, look for shortcuts. Always look for shortcuts. There are plenty of them in music. Plenty of them. So, um, uh, Daphne on drums. Darling, could you... Thank you. And um, Frida, if you'd like to start again. Okay, so... Should we turn that up a bit? Yeah, that's okay. So I'll just play it once through and then I'll leave it to you guys.
Okay guys, so hopefully that's enough for you. We'll be doing all of the arpeggios. We're also doing all of the chords, all of the broken chords. I can only do one a day, perhaps sometimes two because, uh, you know, one's a busy woman. Um, so I hope that was really helpful. It's quite good fun, isn't it? And remember, that now that you know the F major arpeggio, you could compose just about any song and you could also play along to any song, uh, just improvise to it, if, if it's in F major. And some other keys, actually, but we'll talk about that another time. This was a free class, by the way, by the Telltale Club, and I really do hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>